what is reflection of light well consider a ball when you throw a ball and it hits the ground or any surface it bounces back or comes back or we say that it is reflected now if you ask me that why this ball comes back or why it is reflected by the surface then the answer is very simple according to newton's third law of motion every action has a reaction equal in magnitude but opposite in direction for example if the ball exerts 10 newton force in this direction on the ground as in action the ground exerts 10 newton force on the ball in opposite direction as a reaction thus it is due to the action and reaction force that the ball is reflected or bounced back when it hits the ground now consider a light ray hitting a ground this ray of light is also reflected bounced back or come back just like this ball this coming back or bounce back of the light ray after hitting any surface is called reflection of the light let me repeat it this coming back or bounce back of the light ray after hitting any surface is called reflection of the light you must also learn the basic principle like reflection in the same medium which a lot of students do not understand reflection in the same medium means that light is traveling in the air and it is reflecting in the air after hitting the ground i mean that the ray of light before and after reflection is in the air this is the fundamental rule of reflection known as reflection in the same medium therefore remember that when a ball hits a ground or any surface it is reflected similarly when a light ray hits a ground or any surface it is reflected now what is the easy definition of reflection well when light falls on a surface and come back into the same medium it is called reflection of light for example consider a smooth polished surface let a light ray is coming from a source and it hits this smooth surface in physics this coming ray that falls on the surface is called incident ray here i draw a perpendicular line to the surface this perpendicular line is called normal we can see that there is angle between the incident ray and the normal at point of incidence this angle is called angle of incidence now the incident ray is reflected by the plane surface the ray of light which gets reflected back in the same medium is called reflected ray the angle between the normal and the reflected ray is called the angle of reflection let me quickly revise this diagram the ray of light that hits the smooth surface is called incident ray the line drawn perpendicular to the surface is called normal the angle between incident ray and normal is called incident angle the ray of light which gets reflected back in the same medium is called reflected ray the angle between the normal and reflected ray is called angle of reflection therefore remember that when light hit any surface and get back into the same medium it is called reflection of light now what are the different types of reflection well there are mainly two types of reflection like diffuse reflection and specular reflection now what is diffuse reflection when light is reflected in all direction by a rough surface it is called diffused reflection a rough reflection for example the light reflected by this rough surface is diffused reflection on the other side the light reflected by a smooth surface at one proper angle is called specular reflection or smooth reflection for example the light reflected by this smooth surface is specular reflection now what are the examples of objects that reflects light well everything in the universe reflects light otherwise we will not be able to see them for example tree reflects light animal reflects light mirrors reflect light vehicles reflect light water reflects light etc thus it is due to the reflection of light that we see things around otherwise we will not be able to see them so here is the question that how we see things due to reflection well consider a light source like bulb or the sun 
Light rays come from this source and hit the flower. The flower will absorb some rays and it will reflect the remaining rays. For example, it absorbs all colored rays except red colored rays. Now the red rays enter into our eyes and hit the retina in our eyes an image of the flower is formed. Thus we see a red flower. Remember that flower is not red in reality. It looks red because it absorbs all light rays and reflect back only red light rays which enter into our eyes and we see red flowers. Therefore, we say that by the help of reflection, we see different things in the universe. Now, what are the laws of reflection? To learn about them, watch our next lecture.